Hi everyone! Welcome to Craft and Crochet. Today I'm going to share with you how to crochet this beautiful hat. Speciality about this hat, you can use one hat with the two different pattern. If you turn the other side, it looks like this. If you want to use the second pattern, it looks like this. This hat is a normal medium size hat. You can use this one hat with the two different pattern. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you're new for my channel, don't forget to join with my thousand of subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon. If you like to watch my previous video, please click on my channel name Craft and Crochet. Under this video icon, you can get my all previous video in here. These all videos are with the subtitle too. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to use this one hat with the two different pattern with the one pom pom. This the one side look like. Other side are gonna use this same pom pom with the second pattern. I'm gonna push this pom pom to other side like this this the second pattern with the this the second pattern with the same pom pom it's look like this if you want to another side again you can turn this hat like this again use the finger to push this pom pom to other side. I'm gonna show you how to add this pom pom to turn both side. I'm gonna give you this all detail about this hat. This so beautiful pattern with the hat. This size is medium, normal medium size. I'm gonna use today golden yellow. You can see here golden yellow with the so beautiful pattern. I'm using this yarn. You have a 50 gram recommend hook is the 5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm gonna use two yarn ball, mean 100 gram enough for this hat and pom pom. And I'm using 5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, let's get started. Before I use this hook, I'm gonna remove this rubber, then in easy for my hand. It's 5 millimeter crochet hook. You can make this hat within one hour. To begin, we're gonna start with here first, this band first. slip knot and chain 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 chain Skip one chain, one chain into the second chain, one single crochet. Now I have a one, two single crochet. I'm gonna make this each chain two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet. 5 single crochet, 5, 6, 7, 8 and into this last chain
9 single crochet now I have all together 9 single crochet chain 1 turn other side now I'm going to make this each single crochet to single crochet this time I'm going to use only this you can see they have a two loops I'm going to use only back loop this is the first single crochet second single crochet I'm going to make this into this back loop one two three four five six seven eight and this the last loop you can see here two loops are going to use in to this back loop nine single crochet chain one turn other side now I have one single crochet this the one second one is coming top of this single crochet you can use again back loop you can see here have a one two these two loops in the third loops I mean top of this second single crochet I'm gonna make single crochet again now I have a one two I'm gonna make this time only back loop three four five six seven eight eight single crochet into the this last loop this is the one nine single crochet make sure each row you need nine single crochet chain one turn other side now I finished three row again I'm using only back loop I'm using only back loop to make this single crochet three four five six seven eight and this is the last one and nine make sure you have to make same single crochet each line one is the one two three four I'm finished now four turn chain one turn other side again you have to make only back loop into this back loop single crochet three four five six seven eight and this the last one nine nine single crochet now I finish five row. It look like this: one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna make for this hat sixty-nine row. Now I'm nearly finished this space for the hat. I'm gonna make last one. I have a sixty-eight row now this is the 69 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and this is the last one 8 
and 9. Nine single crochet. Make sure you need to nine single crochet for the for start to end. I have a one. This two I count this two is a one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 34, 34 and 1 line, 34 times 2, 68 and 1 with the 69, all together 69. These is coming with the 40 45 centimeter you can see here 45 centimeter I'm going to show you in this hat is coming 45 centimeter Next, I'm going to join this together. You can see this the start place and this the end. This both come into same side. Now I'm going to join these two. I'm going to pass with these two loops. With the other side, I'm using only back loop. You can see here back loop. Now I have a three loops on a hook. And I'm going to make one single crochet again two loops with the other side only I'm using back loop this one and single crochet I'm going to make nine single crochet to for this single crochet nine single crochet it's look like this it looks same with the other pattern skip with the slip stitch to other next row I'm gonna make each row to one double crochet now you can see in here each row to I'm gonna make one double crochet chain three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine thirty ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine thirty ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty You have to make this each line to one double crochet then you can get end of this round 69 double crochet I'm going to show you end of this round now I have a 68 single crochet it's look like this. I'm going to make last one into this row. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. I'm going to join with this third chain with the slip stitch. It's look like this. Before we start this pattern, we need 
multiplies 3, then is 69. Next row, I start with the chain 3 into this double crochet top, one double crochet. Into this double crochet top, again one double crochet. Now I have a three double crochet on the second round. I'm gonna make one double crochet into this first round double under this first round double crochet. This is the chain three. I'll pass this hook under this double crochet and I'm gonna make one double crochet into this this first row first double crochet two again three double crochet into the next three double crochet top this going multiple three one two three again i have to make this first double crochet down or even you can skip into here to two double crochet into this third double crochet to i gonna make one double crochet again three double crochet next three double crochet up to three double crochet one two and three Again, skip into this space to two double crochet and one double crochet. Again, three double crochet and first line to first row to skip two double crochet and into the third double crochet to one double crochet. Is this round is go all around to this round to this pattern three double crochet after one double crochet to first line now I'm fin nearly finished second round I'm gonna show you how to finish this second round three double crochet You can see I'm use only 69 then it's coming exactly right amount now I'm gonna join with this top up this third chain with the slip stitch third round I start with the chain 3 into the next double crochet top 2 Two double crochet next time this time I'm gonna make double crochet into this double crochet you can see this this is the first double crochet and then this is the last one into this last one one double crochet this you can see this line is coming now next into the next three double crochet next three double crochet is coming here not this in here one double crochet two double crochet and three double crochet and into this double crochet I'm gonna make one double crochet Again, next three double crochet and come in here. One double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. Next double crochet is coming to this here. You can see now nearly is coming this line.
you can see in the other side this three double crochet into this three double crochet and four double crochet going to the down previous double crochet into this double crochet this the third round look like follow this pattern all around to this round I'm going to show you end of this third round how to join the third round now I'm nearly finished this third round it's look like this into this three double crochet to this last three double crochet to three double crochet and into this double crochet to I'm gonna make one double crochet then I'm gonna join with this third chain with the slip stitch this the round three round four start with the chain three into this two double crochet two two double crochet one two all together three double crochet next double crochet I gonna make into this double crochet You can see here this line is coming up now is coming to side this is the round four again into the next three double crochet to three double crochet and four double crochet going to here into this double crochet next three coming you can see in the back side clearly this double three double crochet next three in here one double crochet two double crochet and three double crochet into this double crochet to next double crochet fourth one is going here one two three and fourth one is coming to previous row to down in here this the fourth round it's look like is the back side this the right side i'm going to show you end of this round four how to finish this round four now I'm nearly finished this end of this round four into this last three double crochet up to same like a before three double crochet and four double crochet in going to the previous row into this double crochet join with this third chain with the slip stitch this third chain with the slip stitch this now I finished round four now I'm going to start round five same like before start with the chain three one two three into the next three sorry two double crochet up to two double crochet then come in three double crochet into the this double crochet to four double crochet next again start this three double crochet up to three double crochet one two three and four double crochet going to previous row like this this the round five i start now for round five it's look like this i'm gonna show you end of this at how to reduce the this stitch this the 
second pattern this is the first pattern let's see how how many line have this side line is going this side another side is coming to this this side it's coming cross like this side another side let's see how many line we have I'm gonna start with here one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. I have a twenty-three line for this side, and this side is same. We need twenty-three line. You can see this. I is make this same pattern with the. 10 line you have to continue this pattern to the round 10 after I'm going to show you how to reduce these stitches this is the round 5 I have to make same round 10 now I'm nearly finished round 10 this is the last one Join with the third chain with the slip stitch. Now I finished round 10. It's look like this. You can see here I start here and this start line is going to side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 I finished 10 line 10 row next I'm going to show you how to reduce these stitches this is the other side this look like same like before we start with the chain 3 1 Two, three. Next, I'm gonna make one double crochet to this double crochet top into this double crochet top. One double crochet, and now I have a one, two. In previous row, we do the three double crochet. Now I have a two double crochet into this double crochet. Two, I'm gonna make one double crochet again. Skip one double crochet and one double crochet and two double crochet again, third double crochet going to down round 11 is going to double crochet and third double crochet in going to the down one, two, and third one is going to down like this. That's how we reduce the stitch. Continue this row. I'm going to show you end of this row. One, two, and third one is going to down. I'm going to show you end of this round 11. Now I'm nearly finished this round 11. Let's continue with the two double crochet. Third one is going to down. Join with the third chain with the slip stitch. Round 12 start with the chain 3 into this double crochet top to one double crochet. This time we don't want to skip the double crochet. This time we have only two double crochet and third one is going. You can see here have only two double crochet and into this two double crochet top to two double crochet one two and third double crochet in going to here one two and third one is going to down 11 round 11 we skip one double crochet round 12 we have a Two double crochet you can see here two double crochet 
each two double crochet top two two double crochet now I finished round 12 sorry 12 I'm going to show you how to finish round 12 two double crochet third one is going down and join with the third chain with the slip stitch now we are finished round 12 We have a 10 with the 3 and 2 with the 13 round. I start with the chain 3 and only one double crochet. And after second double crochet is going to down. Skip one double crochet. This is the round 13. Skip one double crochet and one double crochet second double crochet is going to down like this again skip one double crochet and into the this double crochet to one double crochet and one double crochet second double crochet is going to down continue this pattern around to this round 13 one double crochet and second double crochet is going to down we have a two double crochet with the one line down now we are going to one double crochet with the one line down now I've nearly finished 13 round I join with the slip stitch and chain three one two three This time we are going to make one double crochet into this down and I hold this last loop on a hook double crochet. I am not finished this double crochet last loop on a hook and into this double crochet one double crochet last loop on a hook. Now I have a two and one two this two line i'm gonna make into the one stitches i'm gonna make two line with the one stitches i'm gonna show you what in next one into this line into this line top in here i'm gonna make one double crochet and next one is going to this line last loop on a hook double crochet last loop on a hook again next to this line one double crochet and a last 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 loop on a hook and and this two together with the one stitch I hope you can understand I make one double crochet and into this line one double crochet but last loop on a hook last loop on a hook and one double crochet and last loop on a hook four loops on a hook and together with the one stitch that's how we we join these two together Continue this pattern to all around to this round. This round 14. I'm nearly finished this round 14. End of this round 14. I have a I left three line. Then I'm gonna make three line together. Last loop on a hook, one double crochet, one double crochet into this line and last loop on a hook and one more left again one double crochet and the last loop on a hook and I have a six loop on a hook go through this all loops and make one stitch and join with this third chain with the slip stitch
now you can see this hat is come in shape this top is appearing reduce these stitches you can see in the other side is look like this if you use the pom pom turn to the both side you have to keep it this hole little bit bigger i'm going to show you without hole how to join this top you start with the chain two i'm going to make this all this space to one double crochet on a last loop on a hook i keep it this all loops on a hook i'm going to show you one and two three four five you have to keep this all loops on a hook if you want a small hole to turn this both side to your pom pom you have to make a little bit bigger hole then if you don't want this hole on the top you can join like this this all loops on a hook double crochet in the last loop on a hook this is the last one i can't put this same side i'm gonna send this hook with the, this side like this and the last loop on a hook now i'm gonna send this all loop through these all loops and make a one stitch yes it looks like this i'm gonna make this loop little bit bigger like this now i'm gonna cut this yarn if you want to send the pom pom po both side you have to keep it this hole little bit bigger and i'm gonna tie this yarn and pull this yarn through these loops and tie it together don't worry about this open space I use this yarn needle you can see here no any hole I use this yarn needle to tie this everything from now please follow this video Now we have a nice finishing. It look like this. I'm gonna show you how to add the pom pom with the little hole to send both side. If someone need to use this without pom pom it's look like this this benny i'm gonna show you how to add this pom pom for the changing both side this little bit you can see this little bit big hole i use this pom pom with the seven centimeter this size is seven centimeter
I use this four yarn. You can see this both side have a two yarn. I gonna tie this yarn with the this two yarn with this side. I use this hook to tie this pom pom like this and I'm gonna put two knot to this side and other side like here I tied this two yarn to this side if you tie it like this you can turn this pom-pom for the both side it's look like this if you want to turn on the other side you can push through this hole you can't see this big hole because we use big pom pom like this if you want to use a next pattern you can push again this pom pom through this hole like this it's coming out like this I hope you will love this video. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. See you again with another video.